So now back in those beginning, you know, the beginning days of your DJ career, you have any um, like janky promoter stories or, you know, like situations where the club owners didn't have your money or if so, what happened? Um, back in the days, uh, I don't have a whole lot of stories like janky promoter stories from when I was, you know, doing all the clubs. All that was fine. It was it was after that, after I became an artist, after 1986 when Music Ain't Loud Enough came out and I started going on the road doing these shows. That's when the janky promoter thing started to kick in. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. So like what kind of situations do you have any like stories or like oh, man. particular incidents? Got a lot of stories, but um I'm gonna fast forward to like when Clear My Throat came out. I remember this one particular time we did a, we was running that little chipping circuit thing at the time too. We did some club down in South Carolina, man. This joint had a dirt floor. <laughs> Picture that, had a dirt floor. Wow. But we was up in there, you know what I mean? Me and my DJ, shout out to DJ 20. And uh, we doing the show and everything good. So after the show was over, uh, my road manager at the time, uh, Grandmaster Jay, shout out to him. He come up to me talking about cold blue, cold blue. Like we had, you know, little cold words and whatnot uh, that kind of went along with things that was going on at the time. If it was something good, we had a cold red, something, something crazy going on, cold blue. So he come hit me with the cold blue, and I'm looking at him like, the hell is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? Say, cool, cold blue. All right, so we get out the back of the club, and. Uh, I noticed there was a couple of cats, a, a lot of these security dudes that was working at the club, they was kind of getting around us like, so So Jay was telling me that we need to try and make our way up out of here as fast as we can. It just so happens, a car full of women came up. And so basically they wound up creating a diversion. They didn't know that they did, but they did. They created a diversion and um, so I took time and, you know, I'm clowning with him. I'm taking pictures with him and this and that. And uh, so I guess old boy and them just got tired and, you know, they kind of, they dispersed. What was what was supposed to go down, these cats call ourselves, or call themselves rather, trying to rob us <laughs> for the money that the dude had just paid us. <laughs> but uh, God was with us that night. And so that didn't happen. So yeah, that's one of the crazy stories that happened. All right, over right. here, cold blue. We know what's up. Cold, <laughs> cold blue, yes. <laughs> it sounded a little loud.